Hi everyone, sort of an impromptu uh, visit today. I have a box that I brought back from the Potter's House just yesterday, and if some of you haven't watched already, I just posted part nine this morning. But I'm here at the store, had a bit of a quiet moment, and I thought what I would do is go through this box live on camera with you and see if there's any treasures inside. So if you guys are ready, what I'll do is uh, I'll start unpacking this box here pretty soon here. Um, first off, uh, thank you very much for watching the channel. Very much appreciated. Uh, we're going to go through that box right there, which I have not, 100% have not even gone through this box yet myself. So I don't know what we're going to find. So let's uh, get the camera flipped around. And uh, I'll start off by showing you a couple cool things that came in the store this week. And then we'll get into the box. So here we go. So before I get into the box, these are a couple items that actually walked in the door today. And I have to give this fellow, his name's Anthony Antoine. He's uh, from the Northwest Territories uh, sculpture, came in my store today, um, sold me a couple soapstones that he made. They're just beautiful. But what I liked about this one, and this is not out of the box if you're just joining us, this is a bear on one side. You tilt it and you kind of see how it's three dimensional here. It turns and there's a wolf right here, a face and an eagle on top, really cool. So those just came in the shop today we are going to come over and start going through this box together. So I ha had this one set aside for a while and I've been meaning to go through it. I should probably blow out these candles because I don't want this to uh, go off here. I'll have to put my phone. I apologize. Whoever is in California calling me right now, I'll get back to you afterwards. <sighs> Blowing those out because I don't want to catch anything on fire around here. This came out of the house actually. I don't know if you guys saw this. It's an antler that's been carved into a duck. Kind of a cool oddball piece, kind of interesting. So pretty neat. But look, the first few things we've taken out so far. Some drawings. These will look like they are um, maybe patterns or plans for pots that she's made. And as you can see, I have quite the variety of pottery in the store here. So it's nice to see the original pictures. And what's neat about this is it looks like she has thoughts for what the glazes should be, the height, Let's see, this is dated 1965. Glass. And there we go. So neck slightly longer. Look at that. That's just a beautiful little piece of art all on its own. Very cool. It makes you wonder what happened to the original of this. It's probably in someone's house somewhere. Languishing away. So there's a few pieces of original artwork. That's already a good start to, uh, to going through the box. I'm hoping that in this box will be some of uh, her original poetry that she talked about. This is the box that was in the space that she mentioned in the video. She said, you know, if you come across a box there, it probably has some of my poetry in it and she really wants it to get published. So I'm hoping today I can find it. It looks like this is from a, uh, an exhibit she did. Because of you, it was a success, Mary Borgstrom. Okay. So lots of, lots of letters that we'll have to go through from, from Mary back in the day. Um, I'm really hoping that we're going to find some of her original, that's kind of a funny little picture right there. So lots of paperwork. I could probably spend hours going through this paperwork. Let's see, $340. Oh, she, see, look, she's 30 hours at $6 an hour, $180. So somebody must have commissioned her to make a, a pot. She was getting some prices put together for it. Oh, that's a neat one. Very geometric. I actually talked to her yesterday and she said she really loved making things symmetrical as she could. Very cool. Let's see. Candle ideas. Wow, there's an awful lot of her drawings in here. That's pretty neat. Like that looks like it was going to be sort of a cat inspired one. Oh, thank you, uh, Purple Pickles. That's very awesome. Looks like kind of a crazy looking tomato jug. That's cool. Has kind of a Picasso-esque kind of feel to it. That's neat. So let's see what else is in here. We're going to dig a little bit farther. As you can see, this is all mainly paperwork in this box. So I don't know if I'll have a chance to go through all of this on camera with you today. Faith is, what is it? Faith, faith is a verb, not a noun. Faith is expandable. Fault. Oh, this might be one of her poems. I'm really hoping I find some of her poetry in here. I may have actually found some right now. And my goal here, it, she asked me, she said, if I find her poetry, she'd really love to have it published somewhere. So if I can find it, folks, that's the idea is I'll, I'll put it out there so people can actually read it. 
um, you know, maybe I'll post it on our website or something. But it looks like some patterns, some drawings, uh, some books. What is this? Hair comb this way stays arranged. Well, this has got to be an old magazine. And they just advertised smoking everywhere they could back then. 1936. The, the Good Needlework magazine. That's pretty neat. It doesn't look like there's a cover, but I can't tell if there ever was a cover on this one. You'd think there would have been. So some of the stuff in here is going back to the 30s. Okay, there. here's a book. Let's see what this is. And I didn't bring... I left my tripod at the house today, so I don't actually have a chance to put this on a... Oh, there we go. Chinese poem. Thousands of years old. This looks like it is... Um, oh, silica, clay... Oh, this is... Look, um, guys, you know what this is? These are um, glazing instructions. These are some of the... Uh, some of her... I guess, recipe books for making clay. So black sky glaze. And these are all the different things you put in it. Look at that. How to make black mat. This is kind of a cool thing. This is basically her recipe book for her glazes. Glaze recipes. Yeah, there you go. Boy, I'm glad I found this. White. When you're a master potter or an artist, having the original recipes like this are pretty much um, almost as valuable as finding the art itself. That's really, really cool. Uh, okay. I'm pretty excited to be going through this, by the way. I know I always sound pretty level. Like, I don't sound like I get super excited, but I am. <laughs> um, when Josh and I were going through the cupboard the other day and we found her original stamps, her seal, that was really neat. So these look like some postcards. What else? I mean, you can, uh, you can imagine how daunting this was for me even right off the bat when I went through these boxes initially. Mr. Big. Jotting pad. Okay. Look at all these little drawings in here. This She's filled the whole book up with all sorts of art and pictures and patterns. Oh, that's a neat one. She put a little bit more time into some of these than others. Really cool. Uh, somebody's asking, what is the museum having? I am going to find something. Uh, let me just tilt this back over. I'm going to turn it back on me for a sec. Uh, most people may call Mary a hoarder. Uh, no, well, I mean, somebody was just mentioning the, the titles. Uh, an affliction is much different than the person, and I'm really, you know, we changed the title of this series of our, our, our name of our series to kind of represent that. We really want to protect her, her art and get it to the right hands. And um, I did visit the Provost Museum. They have a nice museum th there. So I will try and find something to get to that museum. Uh, if you're watching anybody from Provost, I will find something to get to you guys. I think it's right that her work is represented in her hometown. So uh, I'll make sure that we, uh, we get something out to her right away. Um, exhibition and show info. Oddly part of an airplane. I never found the uh, propellers, by the way, off of that helicopter that was up in the attic. I, uh, I don't know what I did with them. I think I put them in that little side room somewhere. I think that they're there. So let's, uh, let's go through this. These are Department of oh, Culture. Okay. So there's uh, items being released to people. There's all sorts of stuff. I mean, this box is just packed. Oh, look. Local, look, this is from the, the paper. There was another copy of this in the house too, but there she is. A little bit younger, with some of her pottery being selected to go to the Olympics. That's a cool piece. And uh, I did find a piece of uh, pottery that wasn't hers, but was displayed at the Olympics in the uh, in one of these boxes as well. So that was really cool. Clearly, I'm going to have to spend some time to go through all these papers. I'm sure you guys don't want to go through every single paper with me on camera here today. But we're going to uh, go through some of that very soon. I did find something the other day. Uh, oh, it's right here. Something cool, and you know if I think it's cool, it's, it's probably kind of cool. Um, let me show you guys. I'm just going to get it geared up here to show you what I found. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you. I found this stack of slides a couple days ago at a gentleman's house. And I thought they were neat because as you can, can kind of see in the picture, see it's a glass slide of an old dirigible. Basically like a lighter than airship. Not quite a blimp, but the same kind of idea. Now that's got to be about 100 years old, this thing. And that is a really cool slide. But what was even more interesting, okay, so there's all kinds of stuff here. Um, that one is the War on Wings, so early pilots. But I was going through, 
And I thought, well, that plane looks kind of familiar. I'll see if I can put it against this, a light here so you guys can see. I don't know if you can see it or not. Can you guys recognize what that is? It's a glass slide, an original one. And I thought, well, that plane looks really familiar. And then I found this one. Let's see, I'll put it, uh, try to find a spot where you can see it. It's hard with glass slides. Okay. Mm. You can kind of see it there. Okay. So you guys see that plane look familiar? And I looked at the bottom of the slide. It's an original slide of the Wright brothers at, it looks like it says Wright at Arrows. So in amongst these slides that I found, I found an original glass slide of the Wright brothers airplane flying over what looks like uh, water or beach. It's uh, at Arrows, it says. Really, really cool stuff. So all of these slides are early um, aviation slides. I mean, I'm talking like really early stuff here. So I am gonna go through this and see what I have, but I have no idea how to, how to price an original slide of like, you know, the Wright Brothers airplane flying or some of the very first ones. Um, in this La Liberté. So that must be the name of that airship. Isn't that cool, guys? So I have a whole stack of these. I'm gonna see if I can find a uh, person that can uh, restore these images and kind of get them back uh, printed so I can see what they look like as printed photos. But there's a British flag hanging off of it, the La Liberté, I guess that's what that is, and they're taken off. So there's a lot of really good ones here. Oh, this is cool, look at this. There they are in the airship, in the basket. Looks like they have cheese. They're, they've got uh, champagne or wine. They're having a little picnic up in the sky. That's really cool. It's not the Hindenburg, folks. The Hindenburg was really big and also much later. Here's some old guys in a saloon. I love old glass slides like this. I don't know about you guys, but this stuff is so cool to me. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get these printed off and, um, you know, try and preserve these to some degree. That looks like, you know, an old street scene. Pawn shop on it. Really, really neat. So I will go through the rest of this stuff uh, over the next day or so, and I'll post pictures on our Instagram site of some of the more interesting finds that, we ca that came out of this box. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. I'm going to flip that around. <laughs> that's what I'm going to be doing this afternoon is going through some of this stuff and seeing just what exactly is inside these boxes. And I did also find a few more pieces of pottery um, the last trip too. So you saw my son Jason uh, in the video I just posted this morning uh, brought one. So we've got that at the store, all kinds of neat stuff. So um, I just want to share with you because I get excited going through boxes of stuff. And I know you guys sometimes like watching these things too. So really, really um, uh, glad that you guys are watching along with this. I love adventure and um, I don't know, I just see you all as kind of being like my friends out there that are kind of like looking through this stuff too. So I'm gonna go through some more of these boxes probably this afternoon and I'll post the pictures on Instagram. I'll ask a couple of questions or answer a couple of questions before I go too. Oh yeah, somebody sees the canoe light that I built up there. Yeah, that's really neat. Uh, anything from Prince Edward Island? Yes, I have a sign from Prince Edward Island that's up at the front. Uh, I'll try and answer a couple more. Um, I'm reading as quick as I can here. I'm not planning on moving to the house, Stacy was asking. Uh, we were fixing it up to maintain the house and get it protected, but I am happy living in Edmonton where I am. Uh, and my kids are in school here, so it would be kind of difficult to move them out of school right now. So if you guys ever are in town, uh, please do come by and, uh, and visit us here and um, come to the store if you're ever in Edmonton. Happy to see you. Uh, if you're from, uh, you know, somewhere else and you find yourself through. Actually, I'm going to be in Colorado uh, at the end of the month. So if you find that you're in Colorado Springs on the 30th, I will be there. And I think there's a bunch of people showing up to say hi. So I'll just be there and we'll hang out and we'll talk and tell stories for about an hour or so. Uh, so if you're in Colorado Springs, the details are on the uh, Meetup Colorado video. But very, it'll be, I hopefully I can entertain you guys or do enough jazz hands, it'll be worthwhile you showing up. But uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, check out part nine. I just posted it this morning. Uh, we found some more stuff. Uh, Josh is building things. And part 10 is coming after next weekend. And I'm doing a lot of work at the house. And we're trying to get that kitchen finished and hopefully a bathroom working. Which, let me tell you, I would love to have a bathroom working in that house. So thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you all soon. And uh, bye for now. Bye, guys.